Can I, can I teach you a key right here? How many want to have authority over finance? No, I mean it. How many want authority over finance? I've seen billion dollar words come in. Billion with a B. Been with my dad that is ministers over billionaires. Here's my word for you. Every single person will go through a challenge. It's a, I'm going to tell you this. It's, it's a faith challenge and a financial. Every single person, it's a financial test. Here's how it works. Learned this from my dad. We were in Malaysia. And we're with a, a guy there. He's a Christian billionaire. My dad's ministering one day. I'm with my dad, serving my dad. I'm 18. This guy gets rocked by God. And back then, we were just starting in ministry. And, and if you asked us, you know, did, did we need some money? I was like, yes, yes, we do. Yes, we do. And I remember being in this place of being with my dad. And he gives this billionaire a word. He starts to cry. And he says, listen, Charlie, the next day, I want to take you and your son off to my private island. He owned three islands and a mountain and two five-star resorts. <laughs> there we are. And I'm thinking this is the best day of my life. We're on a speedboat. And, and he says, hey, Sammy, I want you to go snorkeling. And actually, sorry, before that, before we even went, the Lord spoke to my dad and said, Charlie, Edward is going to want to give you a million dollars. Tell him no. So my dad tells me, Sammy, the Lord spoke to me. I said, what? Edward's going to give us a million dollars. I'm like, we're going to Disneyland. <laughs> And my dad says, no, I got to say no. Why? Do you know what that would do? Look what we could do. So we go, we go to the island. Edward gets me snorkeling and he goes up to my dad and says, Charlie, you've touched my life. I want to write you a check for a million US dollars. And in that moment, my dad had a test because we didn't need money. But who's our source? Here's the problem. When you're in a financial test, you have two options. You have the option A, of financial relief. And this is where most people take. And the problem sometimes when you only pray for financial relief is that you'll take relief and you don't know the second option which is financial authority. And when you say no, when God asks you to say no, instead of getting momentary relief, you get financial authority. And I learned this from my dad because when he was there, he said, Edward, thank you for wanting to do this. He said, but you know what? He says, I'm good. And I'm thinking in my head, dad, we're not good. <laughs> He said, Sammy, we are good. He says, because man does not pay my bills. And he's like, Sammy, if you get this at a young age, he said, it'll change everything. He says, God's our boss. He doesn't work for us. We work for him. From that day forward, we've been able to raise millions and millions and millions of dollars for projects all over the world. I'm going to tell you why. In times where we thought we needed financial relief, God was teaching us how to live by faith to gain financial authority.